Hey, access. Darren Connell podcast show. Right, is that it then? That's it. I'm just going to turn my mic down, right? Yeah, okay. Right, so it's 16 minutes past five. We'll go for quarter to six. So. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Darren Connell podcast show. My name is Darren Connell. We're actually going to mix it up a wee bit and call it the Vegan Gorilla and Chums. I've not had enough time to make a new logo, so we're going for the old one. We're currently during a lockdown and we're getting bored, so I decided to bring back the podcast and I'm going to bring on some of my mates, people that I find interesting, and just to get a general chat and a good laugh. So this week we've got my pal Sean Connor. How you doing, Sean? Not bad at all, mate. Yourself? Yes, I am good, mate. I appreciate you coming on. Thank um, you. Thank you for having me. No worries, mate. Um, for anybody that doesn't know who you are, which I'd be surprised, is you played Dublin for River City. Um, a couple of years ago, I seen you on Anna and the Apocalypse as well. A wee, uh, sneaky, a wee sneaky appearance on that. Yeah. And uh, you're going to be coming up in a new film called Schemers, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was going to be this year, but obviously with this fucking mad that's happening it might not be happening for the time uh, being um, aye so Schemers was meant to be released uh, in cinemas on the 8th of May um, and it was like fucking this movie sorry for sure this movie's been like three years in the making and then it finally got its release date and we got it all sorted and then the coronavirus and that kicked off so it's obviously been postponed I don't know when until when exactly I think the producers and stuff are just playing it by year um, aye don't be sorry for swearing, mate. You can swear if you want. Um, Thanks. I know. <laughs> Aye, it's frustrating, isn't it? Um, I realise I look like I'm trying to groom you with this tash on. I'm like, all right, mate. Um, age, sex, location. I like it, mate. I like it. Suits you. Uh, you were only like that the other night when I phoned you. You were like, what's that tash on about? <laughs> you were genuine, I know. You actually sound hurt as well. You're like, what's that tash on about? <laughs> I actually don't mind it, mate. I'm warning I'm warning it. <laughs> so how's how's life anyway, mate? We're what's this? We're third week into lockdown. Three and, three and a half weeks now, aye. Right? Yeah. Three and a half weeks. How are you functioning? Are you happy? I'm starting to get fed up now, mate. Um I'm 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 I'm, I'm, re- I'm happy enough, man, do you know what I mean? I'm, and I'm fine, I'm getting on with it, but I'm, I'm starting to realise it's starting to hit now just how tedious this is or is gonna be. Um in terms of how long that it keeps going for. Um, it's just trying to keep your mind occupied and, and I think this week's the first week where I've kind of got to a stage where I'm, I'm kind of sitting back and I'm going, fuck, what am I going to do today? Because mm-hmm. um, having routines is all well and good as well, but you get bored of that, do you know what I mean? I've been going running and stuff and doing that, but I'm thoroughly bored of running a 5K and the same kind of route that I always go on. Um, it's kind of like uh, I was saying to my pal the other day it's like being in the jail but you're allowed to go for a walk and watch Netflix aye, aye no you're right mate you're spot on with that you're absolutely spot on um, but aye I mean it's it's fine do you know what I mean there, there is there's worse situations to be in aye. Do you know what I mean than just being stuck in my house um, so it's alright it's just it's kind of getting a bit tedious now I think uh, so you've no pressed the fuck it button yet and having Pringles for your breakfast and stuff? And... <laughs> no, not quite. Not yet. I've okay, got, since I've, you've done those, mate? I, I don't know, mate. That's, I've got, yeah, that's I've when got, you know you've fucked it when you're having a piece of noodles. <laughs> you're better off with the coronavirus. That's it, I know, I know. I'm, I've got a pretty unhealthy addiction to crisps. Even as first kicked off, I was having, I was every day, I was getting a piece of crisps. Hi, <laughs> Batman. Cause crisps, crisps are like my fucking heroin, man. You're looking well, though, mate. Cause see, back in the day, see, and I hope you don't mind me saying this, but and Anna and the Apocalypse, you're a wee bit chunky, aren't you? Aye, chubby wee bastard, me. Aye. Um, Still a sexy bastard, but. Eh. Hey? Still a sexy bastard. <laughs> oh come on now. I know hey. that sounds so sinister with a tash, man. It just seems worse than it. Still a sexy bastard. <laughs> I love that apocalypse, so I did. 
Uh, no, mate, you're not, you're not wrong. Uh, I was I was fucking I mean, quite a bit heavier back when we shot that. And even in Schemers, man, when that comes out, I think folk are going to be like, fucking heavy, man, because I'm quite, quite chubby in that as well, compared to what I am now. Um, but I, I, what was that? I don't even know what I was going to I was saying there. I don't, I've lost my train of thought. I, I was, I, I was heavier in that. Um, but I've started kind of since then, I started kind of going to boxing training classes and just getting myself a lot more active because when I was in, when I was in school, I never played football. I was shy yeah. at I, I'm, I'm a massive football fan, but I was shy at football. And um, so I never really played it. And we, being in school and all your pals playing football and being really good at it, I kind of fucking like PE, I was like, ah, fuck this man, can I ask? So I ended up, I did kind of go a wee bit chunkier, man. But now it's just, now I've actually started going to the gym and got to boxing and stuff like that. No, I mean, you know, it's the difference, you know what I mean? And uh, you're, you're looking good, mate. Thank you. I did, did you ever get to that level in primary school when you faked a uh, gym knot? You know? I said, you I to... said you'd like a stitch and you couldn't run. <laughs> Uh, hey, the fucking head teacher lets to speak to me, so I need to go. Come back like an hour later. <laughs> but is that, is that, is that every cunt done playing fucking netball? Fuck. I got it. <laughs> you can see on the government website, they were saying all the people that are high risk with this, and Aye. I was laughing. They were saying like obese people and morbidly obese people are under risk, uh-huh. and like 99% of the nation's fucked then, aren't we? We're all at risk. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, you can never fucking. They, webs, they kind of websites would just tell you that you're at risk if you fucking. if you day in. I know. Smokers and stuff like that as well. And, like, nah, everybody's at risk, man. Ah, exactly, exactly. It's a fucking virus. It's no. It's not going to pick and choose, you know what I mean? It doesn't fucking go like that for no good near. No good near. I'm not too skinny. I mean, fuck's sake. I put when I set this up, see when I announced it last night, I was just kind of putting the feeders out to see if anybody would be interested and see the absolute m- amount of crackpots that just go in touch like randoms just saying, Look, mate, I know I'm not in Italy and all that, but can I co host it? And I'm like, Sure, Shut yeah. <laughs> I'll just come on me talk about getting mad with it and all that. Is that all right? <laughs> come on, my bottle of mad dog. By the way, talking about, by the way, did you see. Um... The, the Celtic Reserve player, uh, mm. Armstrong Okaflex, his name is, uh, on, on, on Instagram Live. And, seen some yet, but explain, I. Right, aye, so he goes on Instagram Live and he was basically saying, like, he was bored, so he wanted folk to come. There was hundreds of folk watching him, so he was like, ah, right, I'm going to get it. I'm, I'll get you in on the live if you can do something for me, like you can sing a song, like, they had they had dance, or just show me a bit of talent, something like that. Just for a laugh, and he was getting like folk like popping up, and it was a guy that popped up and he had pulled his knob out to there and was pretending to play it like a guitar, <laughs> and then there was like there was a guy that went on and done you know how the BBC News theme tune, aye, a guy went on and done like an interpretive dance to that. Oh my god! And it was fucking brilliant. And a boy went on and tanned about a mad dog in like ten seconds. And then there was quite a few ones going on. He was getting quite annoyed because there was quite a few going on and he'd saying they were going to tell him a joke and then telling him a pure heavy sectarian joke. And yeah. he'd, have, he'd have to just cut them off and be like, I can't even do that. But it was just fucking, it just seemed like a terrible idea to begin with. Aye, so it ended up a car crash. Aye, an absolute fucking chaos. I'm Jeremy sure Frimpong done one as well. Um, <laughs> fucking, because yeah, they're just wee guys, mate, do you know what I mean? Aye. Aye, I'm going to get a PS4, mate, for Amazon. And I putting themselves on fucking Insta Live with Hunters are pure sectarian Glaswegians. And Aye. Guy's ah. getting his knob out. I mean, <laughs> if anything, see if, that guy, see if he's 17, that guy could get charged. Here, you're no, you're no rang, by the way. No, you Could as well. Fuck, that's, do- that's, that's dodgy. That was a good laugh, down, and then you've just took it to fucking paedophilia, you can. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be that cash, isn't it? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to say. 
I've got a question for you as well. You want me to read it out? What, for somebody? For a random. My ma. No, it was uh, Elizabeth White has put, your I teeth am. are lovely. Have you had any work done and what's your secret? Have I had any work done on my teeth? Mm-hmm. No. Uh, no. I, and I don't really have a secret. I just brush my teeth. <laughs> um, I, really? Any I, I, well, I, pretty much. There's no, no, there's no secret to it. My teeth are, I don't know. My teeth are all right, I suppose. I don't know, bud. I know I was like, anybody get any questions? And that's the only question I've got. It's pure shite, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck it, man. I was, I was chuckling the day. I know I got an email today. You know how in your spam folder, everybody's, every company's just emailing you about this virus. Aye. I got an email the day for a Sunbed company that I used in Dundee about three years ago when <laughs> I wanted a five-minute Sunbed for the show. Aye, and uh, anyway, what did they put? So where is it? Aye, so this is how mental I am. Three weeks and I was nearly greeting. In times of darkness, there will always be light. <laughs> Get a 50% discount when we're back to normal. <laughs> oh, that's fucking beautiful. That's lovely, man. That's the kind of mate you could you you see that on some kind of gravestone, <laughs> aren't you? I mean, it's the most powerful thing I've heard in the last three weeks, mate. Uh, Your Boris has done the off, haven't he? What do you mean? Where, where is he? He's fucked <laughs> off. Prince in fucking I don't know, in isolation in his country retreat. I I thought they were now. Do you know who else recommended that people were recommending guests that I should get on? Right. Have you ever heard of a guy called, uh, what's his name, man? Count, Count Ducula? Count Ducula? Is it Count D- Ducula? Duncula? Andy, what's his name again? Is it Count I think Dankula? it's Dan- Dankula or something. Count Dankula? But um, like, a fucking, like, a, like a green dealer. <laughs> that does sound like somebody would punch you green one. Did it? <laughs> Count Dankula. Vampire green man. You can only go out and smoke it at night time, but... <laughs> <laughs> See, if you smoke it out in the sun, you'll get pierced, pickled into the pavement, man. Don't do it. Smells like garlic and all, by the way. <laughs> See, cunts that smoke green, they won't be getting sick. On this one, they? they never get sick, they never get the cold. No, no, they only end up with getting dementia when they're 40. But <laughs> Aye, I know exactly. Anyway, this cute guy he done a viral video a couple of years ago, right? And uh, it, was was it was racist, it was racist. Oh, like, mates, with, like Tommy Robinson and all that. Ah, right, okay, well, I suppose. Maybe not get that cunt on the show. Aye, well, he asked his own, and I was like, I'd rather eat shite off the pavement, mate, to be honest. <laughs> good, man, good. Can I be having cunts like that one? No. That Tommy Robertson's a fucking wrong game. Aye, he's half his nut, isn't he? He's half his nut. At times he's been caught lying on fucking like national television, just talking shite oh. or in viral videos or whatever it is, and, you, and, and cunts still follow him about. He's kind of went off the radar a wee bit, but hasn't he? Aye. Has he not been... Did he not get jailed for lying in court? I think so. I'm no one hundred percent. Did he interfere with a court case or whatever? Something like that. Aye. He got done for uh, mortgage fraud, I think, as well. He was in the jail for that. Did he? Mm-hmm. It's a fucking moon unit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... A moon unit. I don't know. It's a It's a daft thing. I seen a picture of him the other day. Obviously, he's not been to the barbers in about three months, so he looks like a fucking caveman. It was funny. <laughs> Everybody's looking bust these days, man, because they've not been to the barbers. But oh, mate, check that out. <laughs> Do you look sick? What do you think? It kind of looks fake. Uh, didn't it? it looks like a clip on Lego head. 
<laughs> Do you know but what I mean? The line looks like, fucking dr- drawn on at the front, mate. I think that's, I mean, just, just, my, I think that's just my hairline, you cheeky cunt. No, no. It's my camera, mate. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> I'm kidding on. Aye, but I got, I got my girlfriend to do my back and sides. She's kind of done all right, but it just doesn't look in proportion. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what I've got to do. I don't know if I just shave it again or... But I, just, I, need to see what, I need to see what I need to do, actually, for, in terms of going back to River City. Because <laughs> um, I think we were halfway through shooting an episode. Hi. So, Everybody's going to go back either two stone heavier or everybody's got a skinhead. Aye, pure baldy. I know Jordan Young, he got one as well. So did we Scott Fletcher. So did Scott Fletcher. Mm-hmm. Some people just don't shoot it. Eh? I'm not saying that they don't shoot it, but... No, some people don't shoot it, man. I actually didn't mind it, see, because I got mine dead, dead shot when I first originally done it. Um, and I actually didn't mind it. So I'm going to keep it short if I can. Because I don't know if those episodes that we were halfway through shooting, I don't know if they're getting scrapped. Because, just just, I, just because we're going to be away Aye. for a bit of time, do you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm not really sure what's going to happen there. Um, Big plan. But I would prefer it short because it means I don't need to wake up and do things with it. Do you know what I mean? Aye. And are you missing working a routine? Are you missing so much, man? River City as well. So much, aye. Um, you just kind of realise it maybe you took it for granted. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like just being able to fucking go to your work. Do you know what I mean? And I'm sure it'll be the, it'll be the same for everybody else who's having to work for Homer. Or has been followed, or or whatever it is, you do realise how much, how much got your work every day, and having something to get up and go to every day, actually affects you. So I know I'm missing it big time, man. I wish I could go back as soon as possible, but I suppose we'll just need to wait and see. You know? And I know about you, you were in the middle of the Scott Squad as well when this all I, happened. Well, so I it was this, I'm the exact same as you, mate. I, I, I like to think that I'm a positive person and I do try my best, but I can get lazy and I can take things for granted and sometimes coast through things. Aye, 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 aye. Uh, that's definitely gave me a, a feeling that I won't be taking things for granted again. No. Uh, even on the day, I think it gets stopped the day after me filming. And you could feel it in the air, man. You could feel the tension in the air. Everybody's just worried and scared. And thank God the government's helping us all, you know what I mean? Because people, people have got mortgages and wains and stuff. So. I know. It's a I scary know. thing. Looking forward to getting back to it, though, and getting my teeth back into work and gigging again. And... Aye, 100%, man. 100%. It's going to be... I think the world's going to be a, just a wee bit different, man, after all this is done. Mm-hmm. Everyone's going to be, well, you would hope that everyone would be more, more grateful to be allowed to do it, do you know what I mean? Aye. Even. Nobody will be, uh, I don't think people will be shaking hands and all that anymore. Or that kind of thing. No. Things. See, the thing is, different countries and different cultures are going to embrace it differently. Like, mm-hmm. my... My brother lives in China, and he um, he said they've kind of they're obviously well over the worst of it. Like they've kind of dealt with it, mm-hmm. um, but he said the streets are still like dead quiet, and like everybody's feared to go out and stuff like that. Like he's still not allowed back at work yet, mm-hmm. even though they're they're kind of they've went through like quite a lot of time with no cases. But he's still not allowed to go back to work yet. He teaches teaches English, <laughs> but he's not allowed to go back to work yet. Like schools and that aren't back over but see you compare that to over here I think the minute that the government announces that this lockdown's finished mm-hmm. pubs and parks and like restaurants and everywhere that's allowed to open is going to be fucking rammed aye it's going to be too much I mean some places are the, some parts of the United Kingdom they still are do you know what I mean like that video of fucking Ori Cunts on Westminster Bridge Clapton and there's like Hundreds of them there. Total, like absolutely <laughs> mental stupidity. Aye, it's scary times. Um, is somebody making a cup of tea or something? I hear background noise. I think, aye, I think my girlfriend's doing some stuff. 
Do you want me to uh, tell you? No, it's all right. It's cool. For sound's sake. No, it's all right. Um, do you want to show, uh, let's show the trailer, uh, Schemers, Sandra? I got it. Sure. Let's go for it. Show the, tra the trailer of the Schemers. If Andy's still there. Hi, there we go. Oh, start some. Walk off, son. I'm Shona. I'll be checking on you regularly. 20 notes? Is it not? 25. Do I start a disco? So you're going to help me a lot. What do you think of that, then? Bands would be cool. Such as? Simple Minds. Wait, what? How much? What's the legacy? We the chain of light. Book the vapors. The skids. Is XTC available? Full house, set. Got to do them bigger. We'd like to book Pink Floyd, The Stones and Fleetwood Mac. You're complete and utter fanny. We decided to book one of your more up-and-coming bands. Iron Mountain. Huh? We're after a venue. You want any decent venue this time, you have to ask Des Fergie. Des Fergie. I know what I'm doing. Show my patience off that too. You have let your ambition blind your ability. You pair now you me. Three laps. <laughs> Stick on Iron Maiden. Here. Uh -huh. Hey back, crazy eyes and his band of merry nut jobs. We all live happily ever after. John Gibson. I'm the man. You got to be good for a dead man. Got this new band. Gonna be massive. Who are they? You two. Never heard of them. That's looking good, mate. It's like good, man. It is good. It's a cracking film. Um, Aye. I'm proud of it. It's kind of buzzing about what it's turned out to be. Because um, it was genuinely we started. We shot that. I got like a an Instagram alert on my phone, like your archive, mm -hmm. and it was like three years ago today. I posted wow. a picture on like the first the first day of shooting. Three, three years, years, man. It must be frustrating, eh? So the amount of time and work that goes into a project. People don't realise how complicated it is. Even Scott Squad, man, Scott Squad took about three years before the pilot got filmed or something. Aye, aye, no, 100%. It went through, like, it went through the, through the wash quite a few times, put it that way. Um, but aye, no, it's turned into a, a quite a good wee cracking film, especially a really good wee Scottish film as well, I think. I think, yeah. I, I think the Scottish audience are going to love it. I hope, anyway. Um, I mean, and, and it's already kind of, it's, it's got everywhere, it's all the festivals and stuff that it's played at, it's got great receptions. And it won the it won the Audience Choice Award at Edinburgh Film Festival, where it was where it premiered. So I think it's going to get done well here, I think. I recognise a lot of faces on it as well, and the soundtrack, mate, from one of the best... Band, you introduced recently. Oh yeah, yeah, the Lafontaines, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think actually, I think Dave, the producer, I think he manages him now. I think Honestly? that's why. I think that's why they're in the trailer. Um, or that song's in the trailer. Um, but I, there's a lot of kind of there's some musical faces, and there's a, there's just so much kind of musical stuff tied to it. The soundtrack's amazing, um, and I think that's why when, when that trailer was announced, when the, when the cinema date was announced, that got done exclusively on NME, because I think they got wind of the, the soundtrack and they were like, okay, excited by it. So, uh, I, I mean, it was, I, I'm just buzzing that it's actually getting to come out, uh, because it's just been so long and it's went through all sorts of, stuff so all right it's looking good man. well if people follow you on twitter or instagram i'm sure they can keep up to date with it and see what's mm. happening and when they can watch it yeah 100 percent. i mean whenever i when the minute i find out when it's going to be actually be on then um i'll i'll, I'll be letting everybody know because i actually just want folk to finally see it because mm. i feel like fucking 
my pals and that been like that fucking three years ago. Did I bet this cunt didn't even make a film. I bet he didn't. I bet he's talking shit. You know what I mean? So a lot's changed. I know you were there in River City three years ago, were you? No, no, I was still in college. I was still in college, mate. I missed. I missed the best part of the final. I missed the best part of the, uh, you know, the best, I missed the best part of my final. See, that is your bird clapping for the NHS with pots and pans on it. <laughs> I know she's bathing things, man. Um, I, what was I saying? Aye, so I missed the best part of my final year of my degree because I was away shooting schemers. Um, so I had to do, so what, you, what, what we had to do is we would do, in the final year we would put on a show, a theatre show, and then we would have to do all the written work based on that play. But because I couldn't be part of it, they let me do it as part of schemers. So I just done the whole way of saying stuff about what it was like, shooting schemers and all that stuff. Um, so I still managed to get my degree, but I missed it for like three quarters of my last year. Wow. Well, at least you're working, mate. That's what it's all about. I've got one more question here. It's for a guy called Scott Pugh. He's put... Um, no, actually, Stephen Andrew Dunn. If possible, where would you like to progress your character in River City? Because obviously, Dylan's been a welcomed uh, character. You've kind of hit the ground running, really popular, mm. funny as well, comedy, some yeah. good comedy. So, um, would you be happy, kind of just seeing where it goes, or would you like to maybe? Go into more serious stuff. Or? Yeah, I would. To be honest, I would like to see the character have to deal with a bit, like a more, more testing situations, or like a more kind of serious, more challenging storyline mm-hmm. for that character. Because I think he came in and he was the kind of the kind of happy, funny comic relief kind of character, which he still kind of is. He kind of went through the whole thing with um, Ruby in it um, and ended up getting his heart broken. So there was that, which was probably my favourite scenes and stuff, favourite episode to date, to film. Um, But I would like to see him, I don't know why I say, have something something happen to him. Uh, it's going to be bad, but do you, do you know what I mean? Like, I would like to see him in a more, maybe more stressful, emotional situation. Um, uh, just to see how he deals with it. Do you know what I mean? See how the character deals with it. See how I deal with it. Try, try, do that kind of stuff. Um, just got to do a bus. I, yeah, because I think I, I think I can do it, and I'd like to challenge myself in that way. And I think that, I think that the character could do with a bit more of that because. Ah, he's, he's pretty much just a comic relief at the minute. Um, um, in terms of the situations that we see him in and stuff in the show, so I would definitely like to see him in a bit of a more, a more stressful, more serious situation, um, yeah. and see how the character would then develop for there. Well, I think we would all like to see that as well. Plus, the mere men all the better. It'd be good if you get shot or something. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a pure. Totally yeah, a musket, not even a normal gun, a musket. That's what I said. When I done that, um, when I done the Ross Owen show, somebody asked me that. It was like, if you could take Dylan out of the family that he's in and put him into another family in River City. And I said I'd, I said I'd like to see how um, how Dylan would cope if he was a murder. Ah, that would be good. So, um, I mean, it it been fucking batshit crazy, but a good laugh and the rest. Well, somebody else has asked us a River City question, and it's a guy called Scott Pugh, and he's said, can you tell us about one secret in this River City set? Um, obviously, a good-natured, fun one. A wee bit of gossip that's obviously not going to get you the sack. <laughs> can you get any funny stories or... Oh God, you put me on the spot now. <laughs> Who's the Joker? Who's the one that's like shitting in your shoes in your dressing room and all that? <laughs> um, 
Jordan Young likes a prank. Yeah. Jordan Young likes to give folk frights. I've not been, to be fair, I've not been the, the victim of it yet, but I know, he, I know he likes to give folk frights. I'm sure he waited like 40 minutes in a room for somebody once just to give them a fright. Um, I'm trying to think of secrets. I'm like, I don't know. What do you want to know, big man? Like, <laughs> I, I wait up on smack you like <laughs> uh, you're all fucking we're all hash dealers um, I, there's not really much secret I feel like that's a dead shite answer but it's a shite question I know mate I regret asking you I'm sorry I mean not a lot of people know that it's a set uh, I've had a couple of crackpots tell me like oh, I, I know somebody that used to stay in that street and you're like mate the concrete's made out of wood <laughs> Aye, that well, there you go. That's another fucking that. That will probably be a a kind of secret that most or the the kind of average punter that watches it won't know. Um, the the on River City there is a there's an outdoor set and then there's an indoor set. So what what you see would be the, what you see that's the tall ship, the pub. If you were to walk into that building, there's nothing in it. It's just boards, wooden boards and basically the shit you need to hold the building up. But the inside of the tall ship is all in the indoor set and it so is everybody's flats. Yeah. So you, you would walk through, so if I'm storing in, say I'm storing in my flat, I'm storing in Dylan and Eve's flat of their house and I walked through the door that would be to go into my hall, mm-hmm. I could be walking into f- fucking Bob's flat. Wow. Do you know what I mean? So they're all they're all flat sets that are right next to each other, all in this big one fucking warehouse. Um, so that's a wee bit, it's a bit of a secret, it's a wee bit mental, I suppose, because when I when I first joined, I kind of took me away to get my head on it. Um, so there's that. Um, hi. I was a I was an extra in River City once when I was eighteen. Hi. So was Aye. I. So was I when I was younger, man. Aye, because you were, you were in, was it Chewing the Fat when you were younger? Mm, Frank, oh, uh, oh, Frankie Boyle's drama Dog Nights I was in. Ah, so, alright, okay. Aye, man, that was bonkers. Absolutely bonkers, man. Uh, it was this sketch, and it was about, have you ever seen, I've heard of a movie, I think it's a book, but it was a film as well, and it was called, I think it was called Five Children in It. Four children in it. It rings a bell, aye. Right, and it's about these kids who, these Victorian, it's in Victorian times, and they go into the woods and they find this wee magical creature mm. called It who grants them wishes. So that, that was the sketch that we'd done. It was, it was five children in it, but it was four kids from Glasgow that found them. God. And they fucking make them, they, we made them, we made the wee hang shag a rabbit. And fucking threw rocks at it and set a fucking rottweiler on it like it was dark as fuck. What age were you? Uh, 13, 14. So was that the moment when the first time you're on the telly and all your family are like, yes, and then they watch that sketch and they're like, what the fuck? It was one of them, mate, aye. It was one of them. Um, It was dead exciting as well. It was just kind of being on the set and stuff like that. And Frankie Boy was there and I met him and you kind of think for watching his comedy that he's going to be this dead kind of standout Aye. guy, but he's not. He's the nice. He's really, really nice. Um, so I didn't. I could not have felt more comfortable. But it was just. It was just as was the nature of the sketch. It was a, a bit of a good laugh to, to do it, especially if you're a thirteen-year-old boy and you're being told fling rocks at that puppet and fucking make it shag a rabbit and fucking. <laughs> All sorts of stuff. Um, uh, I'll need to go back and watch that, mate, and look out for you. Because I watched it when I was on and I loved it, but I can't, I can't really remember much. I remember uh, Robert Lawrence being amazing in it, though. Like It was like, uh, it was like half stand-up and half sketches, wasn't it? Yeah. I remember it, aye. Yeah. Uh, that's the first time I've seen Robert... Well, I mean, I've seen Robert Lawrence and things, but I've seen him in that, and I was like, amazing. He's fantastic. Uh, mm-hmm. He was good in that. So, is there anything else you'd like to say, mate? Or, Andrew, is there anything you would like to ask? 
I, I can't really looking, hear you, mate. I was just looking for that clip bit to see if I could find it. Um, do you know how much time we've roughly done? I think that's probably about 40 minutes, isn't it? Aye, aye. 40 minutes? Um, I t- Sean, I don't really have anything else to say, mate, and I don't want to bore you, mate, or drag ah, it out. No, that's soon, mate. It's fine. Andrew, are you happy with that? That's all good, mate, aye. I will just call it, we'll just finish it that then, Sean, if that's cool. Aye, that's perfect, mate. No, thank you. Thanks for having me on in that. No worries. You can go to the front door with your girlfriend and bang the pots. Bang the pots, I know I'm going to. And then have a go. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, aye, cheers, mate. Thank you for having me on. No doubt. This is that. I'll never see you again. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> mate, can I tell you something? I'm not even recording. Are you know? No, nah, mate, i just done it for a laugh. Shut up. No, we're going to record now. <laughs> Shut up, you're talking shit. Is that all right? <laughs> Fuck off. Honestly, mate, I'm not recording. We always do that to the guests and they're always up for it. So you always have a good laugh. Get the fuck. <laughs> Kid, no, that is recording. <laughs> fucking dick. Oh, mate, I was on somebody's podcast the other night and we did 20 minutes before they, they never realised before it was no recording and my soul left my body, man. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, man. So what's your Twitter handle? Uh, oh, hold on a wee minute. I'll find out for you. Uh, so everybody can give him a follow. Underscore Sean underscore Connor underscore. Brilliant. And that's the same with your Instagram? I think Instagram's exactly the same as well, mate. Okay. Well, I hope everybody can give him a wee follow. Check out Schemers and obviously watch River City because it's fantastic. And... Uh, I just wish you all the best, mate. I can't wait till we're back to normal and we're going back for CBD coffee and having a laugh. Back to the Zen, then. I got the Zen, then, man. Aye, they're good, aren't they? Aye. Um, Right, aye, perfect, mate. Cheers for having us on. Uh, I'll probably speak to you in an hour. (laughs) (laughs) Play it pro Evan in five minutes. I know. know. Right, sound, mate. Right, see you later, mucker. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye.